Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing what blessings coming to the side of Leo and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing here in Leo is we also have gems, crystals, and rough stones which will also be in the description down below. What I'm holding currently is pink opal and if you're interested in things like this, go ahead and check out the description down below, Leo. So, on the bottom of the deck, for the our energy, we have the High Priestess. Now that is Pisces energy, but that does not matter, Leo, because High Priestess tells me that you are in a very intuitive state. You're feeling things, alright? You have this intuition, this inner knowing of what's coming up ahead for you and where, you know, what decisions you should make, that sort of thing. It's like a very high intuition feeling about you, Leo, which is good. we have the moon yes a lot of things are being manifested with this moon that we had here okay this Aquarius moon we have the king of cups which is water energy here we have the four of wands Ooh, Leo <laughs> Leo we have the nine of pentacles the death card which is Scorpio energy something on my face. There's some sort of bug. Anyways, we have the Page of Swords. Leo. Look at this. You have a connection coming up for you, Leo. This feels like more for the single Leos, but if you're already with someone, I don't really see you splitting from that person, so there's the good part about that, but single Leos. You have a connection coming up for you. Could be with the water sign, because there's heavy water here. Maybe you already feel that coming. This is something that is manifest with this moon here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. There's a very heavy connection coming up for you, and I feel like this is something that's going to interest you a lot. Leo, also be careful of people trying to tempt you, trying to, like, trick you into situations, like, trying to scam you, essentially. I don't feel like that this is this person coming towards you, but you have someone else like that coming around you, so that is something to keep in mind there, Leo, kind of avoid that, like, have a, have a, a barrier or a guard up when people approach you. So on the bottom of the deck, of this deck we have the Four of Cups, this tells me that you are going to reject that, right, I feel like you have someone, I just feel like a scamming energy, you understand, I feel like you already have this feeling of what this is, who, you know, what their intentions are towards you, so I see you ignoring them. Honestly. Good. We have the tower. Look at that, we have more Scorpio energy here. The chariot. Which is Cancer energy. We have the moon once again. Yes. Leo, yes. We have the seven of swords. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, connection coming in unexpectedly, Leo. This is something that manifested with this moon, as I said before. Boom. The tower. It's unexpected. Very strong connection you have with this person, however. We'll see increase it for money being possible for you, but in the Seven of Sword energy. Alright, so avoid people like this. Like, have this, you know, do what your intuition is telling you. grabbing wrong cards here. I'm grabbing love cards when we're not even doing a love reading. Number 23, distinctive potential. Rely on your faith in the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. So Leo, that is a message for you. We're 34 with Yamea. Grandmother Ocean Primordials. This is a goddess, apparently. I've been told. Um, Leo. This is like a sea goddess that is with you. Maybe you should connect with that more or look that up. Um, you have trust. So you need to have trust here. Trust in what? Your spirit guides. Spirit is guiding you towards the right place here. Leo. I keep wanting to say Sagittarius. I don't know why. Number 37. Third Chakra Archangel Camille. 
Let's take up this chakra and this angel to learn more. But this is the solar plexus chakra, Leo. This is um, life force creation and desire. Okay. So you have that angel with you. You have like very powerful angels and spirits and goddesses with you, guiding you towards the right place. It's telling you to have trust in that. They're guiding you towards something or someone that has a lot of potential here. Number 29, the aqua remains star. Expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence. <laughs> with self-confidence and love. Yeah, intuition is very heavy within you, Leo. Okay? It feels like you're going to be expressing yourself more confidently about that. So, Leo, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.